What's up, Bears? Eric here. I'm sure you remember this story, right? You remember this one? We've been talking a lot about it recently. This fraudulent case that was ruled on by the Supreme Court, this completely bogus bullshit made up case that was ruled on by the Supreme Court that we keep saying, hey, it was a fraud. You should probably not be uh, hearing cases that are based on lies and made up shit. Here we are, though. So the Supreme Court decided that a Colorado website designer can refuse LGBTQ plus customers. It's basically a license to discriminate. And it is. I've said this before. It's an uneven ruling because it allows people who have a religion to discriminate against classes. Religion is kind of grouped into the protected classes in the United States. So to say that one class within that protected status is above another, it's just a weird, it's weird. It's really, really, really fucking weird. And I, I still can't believe that, that, I mean, I guess I should because the Supreme Court is pretty fucking corrupt right now. No big surprise. But I made a video on this and I made several shorts about this and I said this is going to be used as a citation in more cases. It's going to come back up. We're going to see it in, in other businesses, things that are not just for this. We're going to see these weird discriminatory practices happening. And I keep getting gaslit yet again and again and again. No, 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 you're wrong. You're right. You just you're misunderstanding it. You're misunderstanding. It. No, I get what the what the Supreme Court said. I get it. I understand that. However, it's going to be applied in other ways. How long before businesses start considering everything customization? Think about it. If you're a business that wants to discriminate, you could simply just be like every single thing I do is a customization. You have a base item and that item has to have one thing selected that makes it a custom item, which means they can just discriminate. They can discriminate because you, you customized it, right? You think I'm joking? We're seeing it already. U.S. hair salon refuses to serve some trans customers after Supreme Court ruling. A hair salon in Michigan, U.S. has said it won't serve people who identify as anything other than a man or a woman after Supreme Court ruled in favor of anti-LGBTQ plus discrimination. Here we go. They deleted the post, by the way. Um, but Christine Geiger, the salon's owner, says she doesn't support the TQ plus part of the LGBTQ plus community. She said she's taking a stand against being forced to use someone's preferred pronouns in legislation that she feels infringe on her rights. Here we go. The ruling being applied incorrectly, which is what I said. I said this. Other queer people said this. This has been something we said from the jump, which is why everybody was talking about it. They kept telling me, Eric, you're wrong. There's so many, if you go into this video, there's so many comments of people just, you know, completely disagreeing with me and acting like this wasn't going to happen. And I knew it was. We all knew it was. The the, the queer community, look, one thing is you don't have to like us. You don't have to like the gay community, the queer community, but we know what oppression looks like. We We've seen it before. You have not. Therefore, something like this to you doesn't seem like it's going to be abused or misused. We keep telling you it is. You just do. You don't want to see it. You don't want to hear it. You don't want to. You don't want to have anything to do with it. It must be a an extreme privilege to be able to turn away business because you know that you are the majority. That's the whole reason these laws exist in the first place, is so people cannot suffer oppression in their own country. That's the reason why they exist. There's nothing oppressive about you having to make a cake for a customer. However, it is oppressive to tell a customer we're not going to make a cake because of who you are. It's a, it's simple. It's very simple. Y'all don't seem to get it. You keep saying, well, just go to a business that, that does that or go somewhere else where they'll serve you or, or make your own business, right? Make your own hair salon, make your own website designer or whatever. Well, that's not true either. Conservative Christian caught on CCTV flinging dead rat into gay couple's restaurant. A Virginia Christian couple who were caught throwing a dead rat into a gay couple's restaurant following years of homophobic disputes. CCTV footage captured near the front porch restaurant in Plains, Virginia, showed conservative Christian Michael Washer throw a dead rodent at the front of the building last year. An employee of the Virginia Erie told the Washington Post that Mike Wester had previously told them, I like you, but the F slurs you work for, I can't stand while calling for a tow truck to remove a customer's car from a parking space. 
The front porch has flown a pride flag on its patio since 2016, the year that a gunman killed 49 people in a Pulse nightclub shooting, which, by the way, again, another concern the gay community has that the straight community does not, doesn't seem to understand. The Washers, both in their early 50s, also posted pictures of themselves outside the U.S. Capitol on 6th of January, the day of the far-right insurrection that resulted in a number of deaths and have a sign on their property that reads, Only Jesus Can Save America. There's a lot more to this story, but basically... It's the fallacy of create your own place because that'll that'll save you or whatever. That doesn't exist either. And this is just one example. I, I'm not going to make a long ass video. I'll cover more stories like this. I have several more that I could talk about. But I just wanted to show the hypocrisy here. That ruling was bullshit. The way it's going to be applied is bullshit. It's going to be used to oppress people. It's going to be a, a, a used to turn people away from actual legitimate business because of bigotry, homophobia, transphobia. And... Places that are owned by queer people are also going to be targeted because now people feel emboldened by that ruling. There was a lot more on the line than that one thing. But y'all keep, you just keep on. The reality is you don't want gay people or trans people or queer people to exist in this country. Just say that. So at least we know where, where we at, where we're at on each side. We just want to live and exist. Y'all don't want to let us do that. Just be honest with yourself.